Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at the Safriya Palace the personal representative of His Majesty, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who presented to His Majesty the Bahrain One team members for car racing, Steve Jackson, Khalid Leblushi, and Khalil Al Turani, after they won the NHRA World Championship in the United States. His Majesty congratulated the team members and thanked them for this international achievement in the field of car racing, which adds to the list of the kingdom's achievements on the regional and international levels. His Majesty praised the excellent performance of the team, which deservedly earned them the title. His Majesty also praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad in offering support and encouragement for the team in light of the good uh, reputation that the kingdom enjoys in the world of Formula One racing. His Majesty then wished them success in their future races. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his directives and support in this field. He also praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and affirmed his willingness to exert further efforts to achieve future success. The Shura Council held its meeting presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh in which it approved the report of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee on a proposal amending Article D of the Letters and Electronic Transactions Law. The Council also approved the recommendations of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee on rejecting a draft law replacing the first article of a decree by law regarding non-Bahrainis ownership of real estate and lands. It also rejected a draft law amending Article 5 of the Education Law in light of the proposal submitted by the Representatives' Council. The Minister of Education and President of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education, Majd Naimi, headed the Council's 46th meeting where the attendees expressed greetings to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the National Day and for the 100th anniversary of education in Bahrain, which is experiencing ongoing progress in the era of His Majesty the King. During the meeting, the Council took a number of decisions that included approving issuing a license for University of Bahrain and the British University of Bahrain to establish master's degree programs. The Council also tentatively approved establishing a new educational institution called Amity University Bahrain.